Hello and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going to do something a little different. Um, I'm going to print out a calibration cube using the filament loader uh, by putting in several short pieces of different colored PLA, uh, some silk filaments, and I'm just going to let the printer take each one of them in as if they were another roll that you were just going to put in after the piece was about to run out. Um, I just want to show not only how well the loader functions, uh, and there is some retractions in the calibration cube, so you'll see those uh, happen uh, in the video. And when we're all done, I'm going to actually show you the cube and how it looks, how the layers bond together, and how seamless that cube looks, even though, as some have pointed out, um, the filament that's down in the printer um, is not getting retracted. Only the piece that's in the actual extruder is, as each of these pieces gets pushed down in succession. Um, so that uh, that's one thing I want to show you and just again just how well the loader handles a new piece of filament. Um, also uh, I had one subscriber actually ask a question which I'm gratefully did. Uh, he asked the question do you need to straighten the filament before you put it in? Uh, initially I said to answer his question no uh, but I will say that I've started to straighten the last two to three inches um, of each piece I'm adding and it definitely makes it I want to say 100% or almost 100% effective in not having a piece of filament that gets stuck. Um, to put this in perspective, especially if you're getting a small piece that was left over at the end of a roll, uh, it's going to have a real tight radius at the center of the spool. In doing so, that curvature of that filament as it's going down into the pipe or into the uh, PTFE tube it has a sharp point on or edge on it. It could conceivably grab the PTFE tube. Um, simply straightening the last two or three inches by uh, taking a, you know, a, one of these little lighters and just heating it up for a few seconds, pulling it straight, letting it cool so that you have a relatively straight piece. Then just feed that into the loader and it seems to work 100% of the time. So uh, without further ado, I want to just go ahead and set this print or set the printer up, let it run through this print. Um, you'll see the calibration cube with about probably 10 or 12 layers in it. Um, I did shoot it in time lapse just because it's about a half hour print and I didn't want to waste everybody's time watching a half hour print. So um, without further ado, let me get this thing going and uh, I'll see you after. Hope you enjoy and as usual, like and subscribe.